Jason, we're going to move into the county portion tonight, and my greatest hope here is that you go about much faster than what we've been in the previous two cases, sir. If you would, please, Lord, present your first county case tonight, REZ 2018-08, Marcus Hughes, please, please. Yes, sir, thank you. Um, I share the same hope. We have a case here. Certainly, um, really, it's just two neighbors, really three neighbors involved, swapping property and really um, expanding their borders to kind of make the properties a little bit more uh, marketable and uh, a little bit more common sense oriented for how they are currently developed. The kicker here is that they are zoned EA agricultural. The property to the east is a legal non-conforming. The property to the west, the Hughes property, is not. <coughs> that left the Hughes property with uh, one of two options. One is to seek rezoning to bring their zoning into conformity for R1 based on the size. The other option was to seek a potential variance request to the lot size, not something that we typically proceed with. We typically try to bring rezonings to the county commission. We view the variance route as uh, just typically not one we would recommend. Uh, but ultimately, that's what's before you. Um, I wish I could offer you more evidence in the comprehensive plan or in the goals and policies for support, but unfortunately, I just cannot. Um, the hard part with this case is the current property owners, when they learned that there was a problem, really are inheriting something that they um, that was created years ago with a different owner. And so when we identified the ways to fix this, they were caught between a rock and a hard place. Uh, complicating things are the adjacent owner was not willing to sell them enough property to give them two and a half acres, which would have been a better request, or even five acres, which would have completely taken it off the table. So what you see is an updated staff report within that packet that I handed to you and sent you last week by email um, with staff's recommendations, but ultimately that is why we're here, is we are trying to fix a situation that was created uh, 10 plus years ago with different property owners that are catching up to the current property owners. So with that, I'll try to address any questions you may have. I know at least one of the representatives is here tonight in case you have detailed questions, but from a staff standpoint, it's not a... Um, it's not an easy picture. We did try to work with the applicants as, as much as we could. So from planning, planning side is approval, but from zoning side is denial. Yes, sir. And that, those differences and recommendations are differing on how to view the comp plan, how to view those goals and policies. And honestly, um, Ms. Brazel, who you know we respect very much, um, really thought maybe this was a better case for a variance rather than a rezoning. So I believe that's her basic rationale for her ultimate recommendation of denial was that um, maybe she would put a denial up there, but y'all would have a, a different direction. And has that, uh, has that option been presented <coughs> close to bring the case to us or not? We did not, sir. When we got them in the rezoning process and secured their path forward, that debate came afterwards. And so we could have us, you know, we could talk to the applicant about variances versus rezonings, but at this point, we decided we're in the pipeline for rezoning. Let's not hold them up time-wise possible. <coughs> if the rezoning, for some reason, was not successful, a variance would be an alternative option. Um, but that difference of opinion is is part of why uh, part of why I think you're going to see that denial from Carmel. The, the easiest method going forward would be acquiring property. Is that what, is that what you? It said? would. If they were able to acquire five acres, we're not here. Um, if they're able to acquire two and a half acres, you probably see a recommendation of approval from staff um, all across the board. But the adjacent property owner just did not want to part with any more property than, than you see is included on that survey. How do we get approval from you? Because I realized that... I said, right, how, how do we get it? Uh, because I want to try to work with the applicant and don't want to further penalize them for something they didn't create. I recognize the comprehensive plan for what it is. I recognize the goals and policies for what they are. I don't pull any punches. I don't think there's anything there to really help them. But I think we penalize the applicant with time and money to this point. And I'm just interested to fix the problem. Any questions for staff commissioners? Any questions? There being none, anyone here tonight wishing to speak in favor of this request, come forward at this time. And for the public records, take your name and address, please, sir. My name is Marcus Hughes, and I'm actually the applicant. I'm uh, at 4968 Lincoln Highway, Native Georgia, 3641. Um, as far as denial is concerned, this is the first time I've heard that. It's denied. I haven't heard anything, or anything about uh, a denial. Um, what happened is, is this property was done, was cut out back in, uh, I want to say, 
89 or 90, just like John Lennon, 37 years old, uh, uh, 10 That's years old at the time. Run, right? yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, well, we brought the property and um, been living there for five years and sometime uh, earlier this year, the neighboring, the neighboring uh, lot owner uh, decided she wanted to put the fence down the side because they had done a bunch of clear cutting, clear cutting and were worried about people dumping stuff on their side as far as trash and what have you and being coming and going off the property. And these neighbors live to your east? Well, that, there's nobody that actually lives there. They would be, um, it's hard to explain, because that really kind of goes, That's okay. it's kind of, um, it, it'd be to the south okay. and uh, the west okay. of the property. Um, so they put up a fence, so we're going to put up a fence. Well, the property line apparently when this was all subdivided out, this was all one big portion of land. This was a big farm back in the day. And the people that lived, the older houses next door are the people that owned all the property. Well, her father died and they cut out that, that piece. And apparently the guys that the other thing, they come through the divorce. And in that divorce is when that property got cut out. Well, apparently when all that got cut out, it was not zoned correctly. It was it's EA, so it's a agricultural, and it never got any zone. And when they cut it out, the property lines are actually on the driveway. And I'm pulling trailers all the time for work and what have you. And I could not pull my truck around in my yard. There was no way possible for me to pull my truck and trailer around. So I talked to the woman next door and she was very apprehensive about selling me anything, but luckily I came to terms with her and she, she agreed to sell me the portions that are, uh, you could come back to like the, the portions that are, is there another one? They have the survey in their bag of Okay, okay, so the survey, it would be, uh, I think it's, uh, it's the point. What is from Ms. Pearson? I think it's a... 0.9 and 0.06. 0.9 and 0.06 and another one. 0.06. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, in order to square my lot up, that was the reason why we, I purchased those from her. Also, at some point in time, I'd like to do an addition to the house. Um, apparently, this house was built back in the day for uh, Main Pearson Outdoors or something like that. And the master bedroom does not have a master ensuite on it. So we wanted to um, stand out the back of the house, but the way the property line to the east is sitting, we can't do that because we'd be encroaching on uh, property boundaries as far as its offsets. So that's the reason why you see a swap of land uh, with the next door neighbor trying to um, trying to make my house more appealing because the house follows the road and not the property line. Trying to center it up yes. a lot more.
Any other questions for the presenter? One more. Can you tell me where your neighbor stands on all of this? Um, which one? This is the neighbor that, that you're buying the property, yeah, that you're buying the property well, from. Okay. As um, far as the rezoning goes? As far as rezoning, yes. she's completely fine. Um, she, uh, she signed paperwork for it and everything else. Uh -huh. um, Mr. <coughs> Davenport actually had a discussion at her house with her uh -huh. about this whole thing because um, she's she is very adamant about wanting it done very quickly. And the last thing I want to do is hold her up anymore and make her feel uneasy about the, the land transactions behind her. Thank you, sir. Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request to come forward at this time? Anyone else wishing to speak in favor? Being none, anyone here wishing to speak against this request? Anyone here wishing to speak against this request? There be none, I will close this part of the meeting tonight. Chris was in the discussion list before I asked for a motion. Interesting. Very interesting. Jason gave us a lot of duration. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> Guys, I mean, I'm. That's why I recommended approval. Now you go. Hi, guys. No discussion on this at this time. I will accept a motion on this case. Mr. Hayes, you look like you want to make it. That'll do the next one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not really sure how to word this, but um, I want to make a motion that we just go ahead and approve this. Um, I, I feel like he's put a quite a bit of time and effort into this and I don't know Jason maybe you can tell me if we go the variance route I mean how much more time are we looking at if we probably 30 days and, and I you know <laughs> it's not that I wouldn't think he would be successful in the variance we just typically don't address these issues through that board it's an option we just don't do it very often and we don't recommend for it. so okay. even though so I'd rather recommend for inconsistency with the comp plan but recommend approval which is also not typical right. and I would send him to another public hearing right. and you have a zoning that you've just approved five acre zoning on one acre's property right. so I really felt like rezoning was in my opinion better than that right. variance option I agree so my uh, motion will be that we go ahead and approve this I'm sorry recommend approval do we have a second? I'll second, the Commissioner Roundtree. Thank you very much, Commissioner Roundtree. Any discussion? We have we have a motion for approval from Commissioner Roundtree. And we have a second. Any discussion on this before I ask for a vote? There you been all in favor of signify the raise your right hand, please. Mr. Deborah, that is unanimous. You second that, Chair. Ma'am? Thank you. I think y'all just let out a collective sigh over there. <laughs> 